Na imeanza already. Ukiona wa Roige anahubiri, ni mtu mwingine nani hawezi kuhubiri? Imagine you are Roige, dia anashika microphone. Ati yako hapa sasa niko hujeria na hujeria ndo. Na mudhi kile ile ile uguo. Sasa niko na ita Yesu Bukora. Niko na ita Yesu mtoto ya Maraya. Sasa huyo mtoto ya Maraya dia anahubiri. Ndio ura wa Roige. Ene tikiaraka. Bwana Yesu asikue sana. Mzee tumepatiwa naitwa Harrison. Ako na anointing. Yeah, huyo mzee ako na anointing. Tuk, you don't go. Ende kwenda kutafuta watu na huko ije. Ende kwa yenu. Yenu ndio iko na solution. Amen. Lo karim inaita kwa roko. Roko gari roko imetengenezwa roko. Ni mzuri kuliko ile ya Japan ile imekuja. Kwa sababu hii imetengenezwa na condition za Kenya na shock za Kenya. Kama beni hii ambaye ako hapa na amekuja na amesema forgiveness. Beni hii alikuja akaangalia mapasta wa Kenya kashidwa. Si kama muliangalia hiyo kitu. Hakuwaopea walikuwa nafikiri wanataka kuopewa. Akasema mimi nimekuja kwa barabara nikakuta kibao inaandikwa Healing the Nation. Hello. Ndio sasa mtaanza kusema napiga mkutano. Nilikuwa huko. Mwenye alisema hivyo. Hata nimeangalia kibao imeandikwa healing. Akasema where are the pastors of Kenya? Kujeni. Kujeni hapa. Kuja ni hapa. Kwa sababu alienda kutafuta msuku aleta hili. Msuku mwenyewe akaambia kaita nganga hapo. Akaanguza nganga ti, nganga ndio huyo chini. Nganga akaambia sasa amuka. Mapasta wakaambia fuateni huyu msee mtafute amani yenu. Kumbe tukienda tu kwa nganga hapa na Kenya tupate amani. Romans 3 verse number 10. And there is none. There is nobody who is righteous. None. The Bible says hakuna mtu msafi hakuna mtu mtakatifu we are starting from there hallelujah we are starting from none wale ambao wanapiga makelele huko wakasema huyo ni sina huyo ni nini huyo jaka huyo kai huyo edi huyo lololo huyo lelelele hiyo yote i want to tell you none ambie mwezako no one is righteous mwambie no one is righteous Not 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 even one. Hallelujah. Not even your bishop. Not even your prophet. Not even your pastor. Nobody is righteous. All of us we start from the zero ground. We are all leveled. We are all sisi wote ni watu wachafu. You can never live in isolation. You can never live your own life. We live a life controlled and manipulated we live with uh, fathers who are not upright but when you wake up you meet them uh, prophetically na godiomatic godiomatically wewe ndio na dioma ile mzuri sana rikandoro mose ketayara bwana anasema riakantara baba mkuu watu wa sabi dauli daganyana ulikuwa kwa stage hallelujah So you keep on the enemy. Na nabia we we ndio nanyiambia ama we ndio unaambiana. Kumbe hata Mungu anakuangalia naona we ni mjeuri sana. Anakuambia sasa nena na nadimi. Kwa sababu hutajua, huyu ana nena na dimi anajitangaza kimsee kama hiki hakijui mambo ya dini. Mungu anafungua masikio. Anaanza kwa Mungu anasema mgeukie Mungu msirudi kudaganyana Mungu kwa stage na Mungu kwa nyumbani. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. We all deserve to be forgiven we are materials that needs forgiveness that nobody can be ever qualified to be called this is righteous this is okay nobody is okay don't look at that person when you are looking at this person and you are seeing who oh, this is a sinner where you are pointing at, at and this is a sinner look at your three fingers where are they pointing at look at them where are they pointing at at me And they're saying you are three times that person you are pointing. 
Hallelujah. And here you in the and God is my witness. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kumbe hiyo wewe ni mtetaji wa dhabi mara tatu yangu. Na wewe unaona ga yangu ni mingi ndio kwa maana Yesu akasema toa mugogo ile iko kwa macho yako kabla hujaona mtu mwingine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Until we are able to understand this. Tujue ya kwamba we all need to be forgiven. We are all cadets of sin. We need God every single time. We need God to guide us. We need God to prosper. We need God to take us to the levels of understanding. Therefore, who needs to be forgiven? Verse number 23. Remember no one is perfect. Whether you are the one who caused the trouble or you are the one who suffered the effect. We all need to be forgiven. Stop repeating stories of those who hurt you. Stop every time you repeat at your mama venye alinifanya. Mtumio sio yaje kile. Huyo mwanaume venye alinifanya. Nie, 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 nie. Leo ndio yaje kile. Nie, 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 nie. I cannot do this and that woman. That's a very stupid woman. And immediately after you finish that is a very stupid woman. Jen na dehera bible ya yako anego sharada kanida and you carry the name the word of god with unclean heart and dirty hands then you come here to say call the name of god there is no name of god who will come to you there is no word of god who will come to you if that person you hate that person you keep repeating you keep repeating yani every time makubuko hilo nakubuka ni venye walikufanya makubuko hilo nakubuka ni venye walikuiba shaba yako you can never rise against people because somebody miss alifanya kitu baya kwako eti kwa sababu ulinyanganywa bibi wao ukiona mwanaume unasema mwanaume ama mwanamke unachukia kila mwanamke if you keep repeating on that it means you qualified and you are put in a cage by the devil to walk do and we do the will of the devil you can never succeed you can never go anywhere you can never make it because you are carrying visions you are carrying anger you are carrying bitterness yet whoever offended you does not even know you are carrying it so who deserves more repentance it is me who thinks i was strong whether you are wronged or you wronged you deserve to forgive forgive them that did whatever they did to you they did it because it was necessary that time they did it because they thought they are going to hurt, to infect to affect you they did it because they thought they are going to defeat you but you never you are never defeated you remained strong you remained powerful the zeal in you that continued to work and yet you are carrying the grudge God came to you and rescued you. He lifted you when they put you down. He made you better when they had destroyed you. When they had pulled you, the God came and lifted you. But now look at yourself. You are still carrying the grudges which God already has lifted. You are still carrying the grudges and uh, the bitterness which God removed from you. You are no longer a child of bitterness. You are no longer a python that spits poison to people. God lifted you when they had for sure walikuacha kama wamekuweka ndani ya kaburi for sure walikuacha kabisa wakajua this person will never come again for sure they destroyed your business and they knew this business will come but whatever they did to you god came and rescued you whatever they did to you god came and told you that you are my daughter you are my son you are not going to die you are going to live no weapon fashioned against you that is going to prosper they waliacha kama duka yako imeanguka waliacha kama ndoa yako inaenda kusambaratika waliacha kama watoto wako wameanza kuvuta bangi lakini sasa watoto wako wako ngambo wakisoma university watoto wako wameandikwa my junior watoto wako ndio mapasa watoto wako ndio wamebarikiwa na wewe bado umewabeba sema amen wame bridge hapa kana wale wana bridge gig paka unaona mguu imetomoka hapa imekuja hapa kwa kichwa sasa wana shida huyu anatuambia nini forgiveness forgiveness ni ya nini tumeambiwa na wagapi forgiveness kama beni hii ambaye ako hapa na amekuja na amesema forgiveness hata beni hii alikuja akaangalia mapasta wa Kenya kashidwa si kama muliangalia hiyo kitu haku 
kuwaombea walikuwa nafikiri wanataka kuwaombea akasema mimi nimekuja kwa barabara nikakuta kibao inaandikwa healing the nation hello ndio sasa mtaanza kusema napiga mkutano nilikuwa huko mwenyewe alisema hivyo hata nimeangalia kibao imeandikwa healing akasema where are the pastors of Kenya kujeni kujeni hapa kujeni hapa kwa sababu alienda kutafuta msuku aleta healing msuku mwenyewe akawaambia kaita nganga hapo akakoka akazanganga ti nganga ndio huyo chini nganga akaambia sasa amuka mapasta wakaambia fuateni huyu msee mtafute amani yenu kumbe tukienda tu kwa nganga hapa na Kenya tupate amani tukienda tu kwa nganga hapa na leta mambo Kenya ikuwe na peace si kwenda kulipia msuku teke ai hapana haleluya mimi sipigani na mtu lakini nasema ukweli venye msuku alisema amulisikia mama kusikia aliopea mapasta hakuwaopea hapana aliwaambia nyinyi mapasta wakati mtapona Kenya itapona kwa hivyo alijua manyoka ni sisi mapasta haleluya alijua sisi ndio manyoka sisi ndio tumeharibu hichi na akasema tuende tukao tuende tujiope once you heal na akawaambia mimi sitarudi hapa mimi venye nimejipima miaka ingine tano sitakuwa hii dunia si alisema hivyo Yes he was prophesying to his going. Hata huyu Munro alikuja hapa. Nakumbuka Munro. Alikuja hapa akamaliza wiki moja akaenda kule. Hata Graham alikuwa hapa akaenda. Eh ndivyo wanaitaka wakikuja hapa. Hata Pope alikuja hapa akienda. Hata King wa UK alikuja hapa saa hizi. Walisema walisema kuna prostate kansa iko stage 4 tutamwobea ila mtu anajua kuoba uinue tu mkono wako muobe akaikae maisha mengi aone Kenya haitakuwa ya Freemason Kenya is the ground for the revival of the gospel of Jesus Christ hallelujah yes it your ground ya revival na imeanza already ukiona waregi anahubiri ni mtu mwingine nani hawezi kuhubiri Imagine wa Roike, dia nashika microphone. Ati yako hapa sasa niko hujeria na hujeria ndo. Na mudhi kile ile ile wewe. Sasa niko na ita Yesu Bukora. Niko na ita Yesu mtoto ya Maraya. Sasa huyo mtoto ya Maraya ndio anahubiri. Ndio ura wa Roike. Ene tikiaraka. Bwana Yesu asikue sana. Yesu ni vibe imeanza. Mwambie mwanzo kwa ni vibe imeanza. Eh. Na ita hasa na repentance. Leo waende huko watubu mapasta na sisi tuende huko tutubu tukuje hapa tutubu hapa mzee tumepatiwa anaitwa Harrison ako na anointing yeah huyo mzee ako na anointing Tuk, you don't go enda kwenda kutafuta watu na huko ije enda kwa yenu yenu ndio iko na solution amen roko inaita kwa roko roko gari roko imetengenezwa roko ni mzuri kuliko ile ya Japan ile imekuja kwa sababu hii imetengenezwa na condition za Kenya na shock za Kenya kama namna gani eh ya tu nani anajoga mali inafinya ni mwenyewe yes toto rani ugo most post pole pole tu tuedaga tukiedaga na tutaenda kama mungu alituagalia akiwa biguni akajua Kenya ndio italeta revival bona ikuenda America maende China siagalia kisura kama hiki akaliwa sura kama hii akaangalia sura kama hii akaona hizi ndizo zitaleta revival hizi hizi baya baya Iki mareto kinya ne ditu si dwala si kareti ogosira di ogu Muzikubali popo akuja nataka kukuja When you find somebody bado anatumiziko bado amebeba maneno is because you have a carry over that is why you can't enjoy life when you have carry overs Haleluya wewe ni mama uko na miaka vipite lakini you have carry overs umebeba misiko umebeba ati ati yule mama alikutetea ati yule anti ati wa sister you have a carry over that is why your business is not thriving because kile kitu iko hapa badala weke akili ifanye kazi mzuri akili iko hapa ni venye unachukia mtu ile akili iko hapa ni venye ulinyanganywa bwana yako kai ile iko akili iko hapa ni venye bibi yako alieta ile akili iko hapa ni venye kanisa yako mtu alikuja akaanza kufanya mabituko kanisa ikaaguka ile akili iko hapa it is full of dirty and filth hapa kwa kichwa yako you have 
ukiona mtu kama huyo ako na Kariova. Na ni mtu anapenda kurudilia maneno, kurudilia ka kitu kadogo. Anajua ni kugeuza, anaasa na na mwisho anageusa hivi. Akimaliza ukimujibu anairudisha hivi, anakata katikati anashikanisha hivi, inakuwa set. Lakini ni statement ni moja tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na ukiona mtu wa namna hiyo, anarudiria, 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 anarudiria. Ako na kitu naitwa Kariova. Unataka kuna mama wengine kama mama anaweza kuja kwa nyumba, anatafuta tu apigwe kofi. Anachokosa tu, anafanya tu vituko. Ndio achapwe kofi tu ndio asikie mzuri. Na anakuja tu na kuchokosa na mabia. Nitakuchapa. Hutiaone. Hutiaone. Unamweka kofi. Kwa maana huti alege. Unamweka kofi. Oh, ni yake jonaga, ni yake jonaga, yake jonaga odi, yake jonaga odi. Na wewe ndio umeinvite hii maneno yote. Because not ukimchukuza sana kichwa yake iko na makariova. Sasa anatafuta kitu ambaye anaweza kumwaga. Atoe hii kitu ifunguliwe. Ndio hii itakatakai kwa hapa. Imwagike. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Hiyo ndio maneno tunaangalia lazima tuangalie ndani. Tujue ni namna gani tutatoka kwa hii shida. Most of them are men and women of God. Wengine hapa ni manabii wakubwa sana. Lakini ndani yenu mmebeba manyoka. Ndani yenu mmebeba machura. Badani yenu muko na mafuko na mapanya na makokroch na manini zote ziko ndani yenu. Amen. Alafu unakuja kanisa kama chokokroch kiko kwa tubo yako. Unakuja kanisa ni minyoo dio hiyo. Na kumbe si minyoo. Ni milipad ziko kwa tubo yako za uchi za, za maneno. Ni milipad. Sasa ikikugwara inakugwara ikipita. Unasema ni kama ni nyoka iko hapa. Unashikuta na mtu anakwambia kuna kitu na siye ikipitia ipitia. Ni ma milipad ziko za chuki. Ziko hapa kwa tubo. That is why you have no peace in your life. That is why you cannot even concentrate in your family. You cannot concentrate doing your business. You cannot concentrate doing your ministry. Because inside you kuna chura. Ah, getodi. Kira kia mgoda ine kira kia gaba. Ow! Ow! Kika kakido honda ni yako ukona mohau. Wow! Wow! Juhu nuneka watu wanaza kubihevu hapa. Uneza kuta haa watu. Unaona hivyo wanacheka. The next minute wanapigana. Unaona hii ni mohau tu. Why? Ni mareto, ni makariova na mareftova. Ziko kwa kichwa yako zote. Because you have failed. You are failing in seeking this forgiveness. You are failing in reconciliation. Once you kufanya reconciliation. Unawachana na hawa mainirowa likunyakanya shaba. Kwa di shaba ni hiyo tu imebaki. Pada teke juu wane. 90% ya Kenya. No occupants. Muna wania hapa kaproti ka 10 by 20. Muna hapa diyo muna pigania. Teproti ya panie kwa tile kodo. Mwachie. Kanya kama kubwa kubwa. Neda ambia mugu. Tuwebe. Tuwebe mugu. Tobie. Wache nile hali yako kinya. Uguo. Ni hakuwa. Ni kikanyala. Ni yangu. Then prophesy. Useme I am not the loser. Wache manene ya kushida. Ukinangania kaproti. Ati ni inherited yagu. Hii buwana yagu alikufa. Akaniache so what? Ata wa utakufa. Halo. Utakufa. Ogo kuwa. Megogodhi na haa. Na haa uwa. Madhonsoni. Madhi magurege dhito. Na magwekele. No kue. No dhikuo. Na toke tu ine. Iyolo. Kwa jeso. Neto gashe mani ya kuwa. Nasa hiyo ni kujukulia na jukulia kama umeenda Muta kutania kwa jesu mukaenda mukafanya nini Toka uko, toka, toka ujika mahali uko Forgive them and go Tell God I have surrendered I have forgiven them I have no grudge with them Mimi nakubuka juzi tu niki ubiri hapa Nika kubuka how I lost my cars How I lost my houses Sili chomwa siku moja. Siku hile nilimuagiriwa mafuta nikakua ordained. Wakani choma kila kitu. Wani nilikuta wame nikochea. Karibu nusura nitoroka kijana moja ya pikipikia. Kani ya biha isha hato die. Tuka toroka. Nika rudi zero. Nika pata matatu. Nika kuja hapa sikuwa na pesa. Kuja hapa jioni hapa redwez. Nika kubuka hile redwez. Mari kulikuwa na raini. Unaeda inajikuja. Inaeda inajikuja. Inaeda inajikuja. Sasa nilikuwa kwenye raini. Naona mtu watu 
waka unaangalia wako wanajua naweza kuwa because they never thought I'm ni mimi sasa mtu mmoja dia aliniangalia akaniambia yule uko familia nikamwambia i don't think so ni akaniambia are you mr warwinge nikaona amefanya mdomo tu hivi mama alikuwa hapo nyumba akachugulia hivi akarudi haraka jamaa alikuwa hapa walikuwa mbele yangu laini hii venye menjogodana hivi nikaona huyu amesema kai etwadira hiyo laini ilimomoka ilipomoka peke yake ilipomoka makanga walipouliza ni nini laini imepomoka wakasema mugeke iko pale <laughs> gari zote zikafukwa milango nikauliza ni kwa nini gari zimefukwa milango wasemekana gari ya ziadi nikauliza kwa nini ni <laughs> Kumbuka nilikuwa naenda na Mercedes saba. Hii ine bere katikati hapa niko. Regarded na chungwa vizuri. Na kula vizuri niko na Mercedes kagu kalikuwa ile limousine ya 500 iko mpaka na kafriji huko ndani na mahali makunyorosa miguu hivi. Niliona ikiwa haka moto. Nikihubiri hapa ndio nikakumbuka kube ninachukia maana nilika, nilikata mahubiri kama mgezigilia galia ni kuna mahali nilifika nikakata mahubiri maana hiyo kitu ilianza kuchamuka nilisema hawa watu nitawamalisa siku moja Mungu anipatie gufu ni wamalise kumbe hii kitu ndio nazuiaga ministry yangu wakati nimekuja nimetubu nimeenda 7 7 days ya kuomba kutubu kwa sababu ya hiyo tu kidogo kidogo mimi hago nimeona imeanza kuvuka. Zina hata sura zenu zimeanza kukuwa mzuri. Ukiokoswa na mtu ako na sura baya ndani ya roho yake, hata nyinyi mnakuwa sura baya. Ukiokoswa na mtu ako na chuki ndani yake, hata nyinyi mnakuwa na chuki. Kumbe ndio maana mmekurana hapa mmepikana mdo wetu huko tama take tatu tu hii tuleke roho ya Musa. Si kumbe ni mimi nilisababisha hii maneno. Eh? Sasa mimi mrona na yake ni huyo na pigana for because i was harboring grudges i was harboring bitterness i was harboring mambo baya baya ndio kwa maana hata nyinyi mlikuwa na mambo baya baya paka najaribu kuwa ba mungu na mwambia mungu bariki watoto hawa mungu ananiambia jibariki kwanza sana shida na jibariki acha na oba mungu naenda huko heaven is gate na oba na oba kabisa nasikia niko na breakthrough nikienda kushika ka kitu nasikia Jibariki kwanza, nenda ujibariki kwanza. Kumbe ni bitterness ya bayo ilikuwa ndani yangu. Tunakutaka hata huyu msia na kaga kama amekasirika. Na si kukasirika, ni ile bitterness ilirushwa kwangu nimewarushia. So anybody leading you, kama bado ako na hii magojwa, atawarushia. Jo niona nikimesimama hapa nikasema, niko sorry, nimewa misread for all that time. Munisamehe. Amen. Mutikedekere. Mmoja kwa dakika la nikoda joki. Yes, because what you are, you need to confess. Look at yourself. See where you are leading to. See what you are doing. It will guide you to tell you you are the man, you are the person to repent. Wewe mwenyewe answer. Salvation begins with you. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And that is the success of everything. Once you have that changes will happen. Once you have that things will just work. Freely they will work. People will start understanding the messages you are telling people. People will understand and know you and they will walk with you with much love. Because you have you are set free. Hello. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kupe kuokoka sio ile salvation tunasemaka. Kuna mtu mmoja aliulizwa Nicodemus wakati alienda kwa Yesu. Yesu akamwambia very 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 alimwambia wewe umeokoka wewe ni mtu wa Mungu. Niambia sasa maneno ya wokovu. Na Yesu akamwambia very very very. Na ukisikia Yesu akisema very very. Ni kumaanisha this is very important. You must get saved. Lakini Nicodemus Nicodemus alikuwa kwa si safety hapo pereni? Alikuwa mtu wa Mungu. Lakini Yesu alimwambia very 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 wewe. Okoka kwanza. Kumaanisha huyu mtu alikuwa ameokoka lakini alikuwa na shetani ndani ya mwili yake. He was harboring chuki, was harboring hanka, kila kitu ilikuwa ndani yake. That is all of us this is what we are. We have a grudge. We have a problem with people. We have an issue. We have something that is eating our life. 
Yes we come to church. Yes we can preach. Yes we can unakuta watu kama hawa ni waibaji lakini I don't mean you. Yes sema ni waibaji lakini ku microphone hapa wanapigania. Kwa nini? Because mwingine yako na kinini. Mwingine yako na kinini. Mwingine yako na kinini. Wanafikiria huyu anafikiria mimi ndio the best. Huyu anafikiria mimi ndio the best. Huyu anafikiria mimi ndio huu. Huyu anafikiria mimi ndio yenye. Ube ni ujiga mtupu. Ujaokoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ukiona mtu ako na hii na huyu mwingine ako na hii, huyu hawezi kuogea na hii, huyu hawezi kufanya hii. You need salvation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. We need to repent. We need to seek this God. He loves you. Hallelujah. He loves you. We all deserve to be forgiven. You dis- forgive as I'm forgiven. In any case, wewe ndio unahitaji msamaha kuliko huyo unafikiria alikutendea. Sasa wewe ndio umebeba Kariova, wewe ndio umebeba Bitterness, wewe ndio umebeba Anka, wewe ndio umebeba Hate, wewe ndio umebeba Grudge. Wewe ndio unahitaji msaada wa biguni. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Agalia venye su- umekoda kwa sababu ya kubeba maasira. Sawa yale yale hejete. Akijagalia tu. Jagalia sasa wewe usijagalia na mtu. Hebu jagalia kwa uso yako uone venye umekoda uso. Jagalia. <laughs> Kasi babu ile vitu maneno mbebeba ni maneno magumu, maneno mabaya. Sin power over you must come down. Mwambie mwezako. Sin power over you, over me. Sema hivyo. The sin power over me. The sin power wewe kidogo wewe. Uga sin power over me has to come down. Uwe ni kugate. Eh. Yaani hinya wawe hia, uri aonyitete, megowate, no ginyo gwedi. The sin power, it is that power that controls you. That power that makes you think you are so important. That power that makes you think that you are so special. That power that makes you think that you cannot forgive. That power that makes you think you cannot be able to be like others. That you have a class of your own. Ule. Kiradi. Kiradi gani? Who has a different class from others? Ati huyo ni wa class ya juu. Kiradi gani? Umei kusikia kuna cho imetengenezwa ya watu wa class ya juu? Hello? Umei kusikia? Cho ni ni mara tatu. Cho ni mara ngapi? Ni mara 4. Tuseme mara 4. Cho ni mara ngapi? Kuna ile ya kukalia. Kuna ile ile ya chini kabisa ile ime ika hivi Kuna ile ya kupimisha Na kuna ile ya huko mgoda Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Na kuna ile ya huko shaba Sisi yote tunapitia ile ya shaba ile ya kukalia ile ya kuchuchumia na ile yote sisi yote Na kuna mtu mwai kusikia ametoa gorodi Yeye anakuja kutuambia kirazi kwenda na kirazi yako We are all equal before the eyes of God. Yeah. Nobody is important. Nobody is special. We live, we breathe. Kata damu ni damu ya ready tatoka kwa Ruto. Hata labda yake ni buraki kidogo kukuliko. Kwa sababu ya stress hivi nyamesubuliwa na Kenya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. When we learn to live as human beings, we learn to forgive, we learn to be forgiven. We walk freely. We live freely. We stand freely. We live like brothers and sisters. Our land will be healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our land will be what? Yeah. We'll be healed. If we look at the book of Psalms 51, great in me, great in me a clean heart. So forgiveness is about the clean heart. Hallelujah. Yeah. So ile hati ya zamani lazima ibomolewe ile ilikuwa chafu lazima itolewe yende itolewe ile waya ya kusugua ile siwa ya isugue hiyo hat ora bakata rikanto robo saya nema kata usuguriwe kabisa usuguriwe baka the clean heart to be created create in me a clean heart oh god number two Renew in me a right spirit. So when you are full of unforgiveness, the spirit in you is demonic. 
Angalia mwezi wako, angalia mwezi wako sasa. I know you've been thinking my spirit is right. I've been operating like a devil. But today, 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 I wake me na wake chini. Ninaweka mipango ya shetani. I will not operate like him. I will not be again. I will never again be like a devil. I will be like God. Oh yes. Number three. Pass me not away from thy presence. Wewe unaniona nimenyoroka. Nimetembelea kwenye giza. Naomba kutoka leo. Kutoka leo. Sitatembea kwenye giza. Sitatembea kwenye giza. Nitatembea kwenye mamlaka ya bingoni. Nitatembea kwenye mwanga. Nitatembea in the kingdom. We are walk in the kingdom of heaven. I will win every battle because I will walk in the lightness. I will conquer them because light will kill me. I will win them because light will be with me. The presence of God will be with me. I will not walk in the darkness. I will not walk in the in the dark will of the devil. I will stand to manifest the will of God in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Wow. Number four. And not thy Holy Spirit from me. Oh, Don't send me away from you. Don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Be filled with the Holy Spirit you to be able to discern that which is of the devil. Live godly in the will of God and prosper. Mwambia prosper. Mwambia prosper in the power of the Holy Spirit to conquer in the Holy Spirit to win the Holy Spirit and to discern in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Kupe iso te vitu zilichukuriwa the presence of God. The Holy Spirit. Kai. Wewe nyona gado haga shiria ni adokithene mame togi. Kai. Kupe tumekuwa useless hivyo. Hadi wana hubiriki hapa nikifikiria mimi ni mtu amana nimejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Kupe ni Roho Mtakakitu. Huko <laughs> atasame. You know one thing that eventually David, David repented. Aliomba msamaha mkubwa sana. Hii ilikuwa msamaha ya David alikuwa anajaribu. Verse 10. Give me back the joy that comes from being saved by you. Oh, kupe dio magire eti hapa. Tulito iko nyugu. Tuluduli na joy. Hallelujah. You believe kio na tau kala tuluduli na joy. Because the joy was taken away from you. That why your face is so gloomy. Because the joy was taken away. And be my neighbor. My neighbor. Today I have recovered my joy. I have recovered my joy. Because the Holy Spirit has taken over me. I have the joy of the Lord. I have the joy of the Lord. I have the joy of the Lord.